Microsoft is back once again with the new AI framework, introducing Task Weaver, a code first agent framework, and it seamlessly plans and executes data analytical tasks. This innovative framework interprets user requests through code snippets and efficiently coordinating a variety of plugins in a form of functions to execute data analytical tasks. Now, this framework is used for building large language model powered autonomous agents. The standout ability of Task Fever is to convert each user request into ex executable code, which is treating user defined plugins as capable functions. It provides rich data structures, flexible plugin usage, and a dynamic plugin selection. It leverages the coding capabilities of a large language model to implement complex logic and incorporate domain specific knowledge through examples. Additionally, TaskFever has made considerable efforts towards the secure execution of generated code and provides an easy to use interface for developers. Now let's just take a look at this example where it shows how to use TaskFever to forecast uh, ETF's price in the next week using the RIMA algorithm. This ETF is in Vesco and we can see that we start off with the user inquiry where we basically give TaskFever this prompt forecast QQQ's price for the next week using the Arima algorithm. And we can see that it then starts to formulate a plan. This is where the planner is instructing the code interpreter to find the historic data for QQQ to give this prediction of the price within the next couple of days. Now it uses code interpreter to use Y Finance to retrieve this historic data and then processes the data. It then goes forward to request the user's input for the algorithm parameters. And as we go forward, the planner then instructs the code interpreter to train the prediction model. This is something that is being done with this framework. And it's doing this within a couple of seconds, which is absolutely insane. Now we go on later to see that it forecasts the next five trading days for the price at that it expects QQQ to be at. And we can see uh, it's kind of a little blurred out here, but at the bottom, we can see that the results of the above Python code after execution is this, and it states the different types of prices that are predicted for the next couple of days. Now, this is something that was done after giving a single prompt. It executes the code and it treats user defined plugins as a callable function. And this is something that we saw through this example. It plans and executes this data analytical task within a couple of seconds. And this is something that we're going to uncover throughout today's video as we're going to understand how you can utilize this new framework, how you can install it, and just uncover some of the cool capabilities of Task Weaver. So definitely stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to access our private Discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, get networking opportunities, collaboration, daily AI news, you have various different AI topics being discussed on the Discord, as well as a lot of support, definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI. Definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we got a new Microsoft agent framework, which is called Task Fever, a code first agent framework. They basically go on to start off this paper by stating that large language models such as GPT, Claude, Palm and Llama have all showcased impressive abilities in natural language understanding and generation. It contributes to applications like chatbots and virtual assistants through these large language models. But what they have done is that they constructed this paper which highlights existing limitations in frameworks that utilize these large language models for task oriented conversations, particularly in handling rich data structures, incorporating domain knowledge and addressing diverse user requirements. Now, they stated that to overcome these challenges, they introduced this project that is called Task Weaver, which is a code first agent framework. This is used for building large language model powered autonomous agents. Now, Task Weaver is something that excels in converting user requests into executable code, addressing the limitations of existing frameworks. And this is by supporting rich data structures, flexible plugin usage, and dynamic plugin selection, as well as secure code execution. 
This is a proposed framework that is designed to offer a powerful and flexible solution for creating intelligent conversational agents that are capable of handling complex tasks and adapting to domain specific scenarios. This is why they were motivated to create such a project and a, such a framework that can tackle these different types of limitations. And they have done a great job in releasing their first few releases of this framework, which you can access today right now with the code and this is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video as I showcase how you can install it. Fever does a great job in illustrating key features of this framework to become operational. This includes the support for custom plugins, handling rich data structures like Pandas data frame, stateful execution across chat rounds, reasoning before action, responding in natural language, code generation, and so much more. These are some of the requirements that you can take a look at on the motivation and requirements section of the research paper. I definitely recommend that you take a look at as these requirements are essential for Task Fever's design, which emphasizes the versatility, user-friendly response, and efficiency handling of diverse data and tasks. We can see that it does a great job in executing the generation of various different ranges of tasks as well as diverse data execution tasks. We can see in this example where it starts off by stating, hi, I'm task fever, how can I help? And from a user prompt, it states that pull data from this uh, link and give it apply the anomaly detection on the data. It goes forward by asking you, should I apply the different detection methods such as time steps and bell? And it then generates the chart afterwards. It basically emphasizes and showcases that this is something that follows through all the requirements that we stated to give you the best type of user friendly response and efficient handling of the diverse range of data as well as tasks. We can see that they have put a good emphasis in making sure that they are able to use this code like framework to make sure that it's able to execute whatever range of tasks that you give it. Now let's go on forward to take a look at the overview of Task Weaver. It's basically comprised of three main components. You have the planner, you have the code generator, as well as the code executor. Now this planner interacts with the breaking down of the request into sub stacks and it manages the execution as well as transforms the results into a readable response. Now, this is something that generates code based off the plan, which utilizes existing plugins while the code execution executes the generated code and maintains the sessions as well as the execution state. This uses a basic type of example for pulling data from a database and applies it to a detection algorithm. Now, Task Beaver's tool layer planning involves the planner generating a high level plan and the code generator devising a plan for each step during the execution. It basically functions in these three components and it's able to give you the output afterwards after it goes through this formula or this, I would say this workflow actually, to give you the best response that is generated. Now on their GitHub repo, they had this example where they are using Task Weaver to pull data from the database and apply a anomaly detection algorithm. We see this from this single prompt that is given to Task Weaver, which is loading the data from the database table. It then uses different, it takes the planner to instruct code interpreter to load the data and show the columns. It then processes the data. It uses plugins to process all the data that is needed to send over to the code executor. It goes on forward to then generate this chart afterwards to create the same anomaly detection algorithm based off the data that you gave it. Now Task Fever in all of this pulls the data, gets the plugins that are needed, processes the rich data that is needed to generate this. And this was all within a couple of seconds. After processing all the information that we talked about within the last couple of minutes, you might be wondering, how can I get started? Well, there is something that you're gonna need to fulfill beforehand, and that's the prerequisites. You need to make sure that you have the latest Python version or anything above 3.10. You need to make sure that you have an open AI API with access to GPT 3.5 or anything above. It They have strongly recommended the use of GPT 4, which is more stable in the generation of code. Now, other requirements can be found in the requirements tab, which is something that we're gonna install as we go forward in using the pip install command. But basically, once you have these prerequisites fulfilled, we can then move forward 
by Quick Cloning. Now, this is another request that I forgot to mention. This is an application that will be used to clone this repository. But basically, once you have done that, you can copy this code. You can also go to the top of this repo, click this green button, and copy this link over here. And what you can do is open up your command prompt, type in the command git clone, then the link of this repository, and click enter. Now this will start cloning this repository. Once this is done, you can then go into the CD task viewer file. Once you are here, you can then install the requirements that are needed for unpacking the files. So you can click enter and this will start installing all the requirements that are needed to have this application functional. So this might take a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes. So once it's done, I'll be right back. Now, after it has finished installing, there's a couple of things that you're going to need to keep in mind. That is the project directory as well as the OpenAI configuration. Now, they state that TaskViewer runs a process. You need to create a project directory to store the plugins and configuration files. They provided this project folder, which you can just copy so that you don't have to make a new one and follow through all the different things. Just simply copy the project folder within VS Code so that you can start moving forward and running Task Fever. Now, moving forward with the OpenAI configuration, you need to go into the OpenAI configuration.json file where you need to input your API key. Now, you can use Azure or you can use any other GPT model that you would like. Once this is done, you're able to start Task Fever by simply just copying the code. Once you have copied the code the, with the recently new copied project directory file, you can then start working and doing different types of things with TaskViewer. And it will then start off by saying, I am TaskViewer, an AI assistant. To get started, could you please enter your request? You can then move forward with the request and you can start generating different types of things with this new framework. And that's basically it for today's video on TaskViewer. This is an amazing new framework by Microsoft. It's something that is quite under the radar with very little stars at the current moment hopefully this video is able to put some spotlight on this new like dope framework that is very useful in many different use cases but i'll leave all the links in the description below make sure you check out the patreon page if you would like to access our private discord follow world of ai on twitter if you guys haven't already and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas